Hey guys, this is retired Navy SEAL firearms instructor Chris Sinog, and today I'm going to make all of you better shooters instantly, that's right, instantly, by showing you what it means to truly focus on your front sight when you're shooting. Now if you're already focusing on your front sight and you're uh, an awesome shooter, that is great, but I'm going to show you some pretty cool uh, visual experiments that will demonstrate why focusing intently on the front sight actually works. So let's get started. If you've learned anything about shooting, I'm sure you were told you need to focus on the front sight. So the question is, do you do that? I mean, do you really focus on the front sight or are you just looking at it? And if you're not sure, let me ask you this question. Do your groups look like this when you shoot? Kind of spread out all over the place? Or more like this? Because the truth is, if your groups are not consistently in the center of your target, you are not focusing on your front sight. It's really that simple. The good news is that I can have you keyholing shots instantly, and it's not magic, it's just understanding how to focus. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So here's the problem. Everyone knows they're supposed to focus on the front sight, but most people weren't ever trained on actually how to do that. And I think the reason why people aren't trained in how to do that, it's kind of hard to explain what somebody means when they say focus on the front sight. So what does it mean? Well, focusing on the front sight and looking at the front sight are not the same thing. All right, so here's the deal. If you tighten your focus, as tight as you can make it, really concentrate on that front sight post. The smaller you make that focus, the smaller your shot groups will be. It's that simple. I've been teaching shooting for almost 25 years now, and I can tell you when people figure this out, their shooting changes forever. In my book, How to Shoot Like a Navy Seal, and hopefully you've read it. If you haven't read it, you need to buy it and read it. But I call it that aha moment. You know, it's that moment when the light bulb actually comes on and people figure this out. They, you know, finally figure out, wait a minute, actually concentrating on the front sight really works. And a light bulb comes on, you know. And this is what you need to do. That light bulb needs to come on in your brain. But if it hasn't, if you haven't had that aha moment yet, you haven't learned this lesson, once you do, your shooting will instantly change forever because you'll finally be able to start keyholing every shot quickly and accurately right where you want it. Okay, so you go to the range, you set up your target, you point your gun at it, and you look. You don't focus at the front sight. You just look at it, squeeze the trigger, and hope for a hit. Now, like I said earlier, the problem isn't that you don't know that you're supposed to focus on the front sight, but focusing on the front sight is actually a lot harder than it may sound like. And why is focusing so hard? Well, because there's nothing to focus on. You've got a black gun with black sights and you're likely shooting at a black center of a target and your eye needs something to focus on. There's just nothing there. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned years ago in sniper school all right and i taught it to the snipers that i trained years after that all right and here's what you're going to do you're going to put a small mark in the center of your front sight post and you want to make that as small as possible but still big enough that you can focus on it now i normally use like a toothpick and appliance paint which seems to work pretty well and don't worry if you mess it up or if you don't like it it doesn't work for you it will work for you but uh, it comes right off anyways. Just make sure you use a color that'll catch your eye. So if you've got a black sight, use white. And if you've got white dots, uh, obviously you can use black on there. But just anything that's really going to make it stand out to you so you can focus on it so it catches your eye when you're shooting. Because this is the thing that makes it so hard to focus. There's nothing that catches your eye. So once you have that there, your eye's going to be drawn to it and it'll be able to hold its attention so you can focus on it intently and make an accurate shot. 
All right, so now that you have something to focus on, let's do some experiments to show you what focusing actually does. All right, so take a look at this picture. Now I'm sure you've seen one like it before, okay? It's an optical illusion. So just take a look around, just let your eyes relax, look at the colors, look at the shapes, you know, look at the little things sticking up. I don't, I don't even know what they are, but it's pretty cool. You've seen it before, all right? And of course, it looks like it's moving, right? But it's not. What's happening is that your eyes are moving around, and it's that movement that your brain is interpreting as movement of the image. So it's your eyes moving, not the image. All right, so this time, I'm going to show you the same picture, and trust me, it is the same picture. And I want you to focus intently on that mark on the front sight post for about 30 seconds. Okay, really concentrate on the first time it might be a little hard because your eyes are going to move around, but here it is. So really focus intently on that mark on the center of that front sight post. Okay, don't, don't let your eyes move. They may dart off at first, but let your eyes relax now and just really concentrate on that mark on the center of that front sight post. Okay. All right, I know this might be a long time, but at first, the first couple times, this can take a while for your eyes to really settle on that one point. All right, so what happened? Well, if you focused on that one point, the movement on the picture stopped. And this is how you need to focus every time you shoot. Because if you do, the movement around you, the movement around the front sight post, everything else will stop except for that crystal clear front sight post and you'll instantly start keyholing shots. All right, so hopefully that one worked for you. If it did, if it didn't, let's go ahead and try another one. So as you can see, there are a bunch of dots in a circle here. So imagine that these dots are the visual noise that's always around us when we're shooting. You've got movement going around, you've got light, everything's changing, everything's moving. Okay, so this is like visual noise, all right? So once again, you know what to do. You're going to focus on the mark, all right? So if you need to get closer for this to work, for you to be able to focus on that point, go ahead and do it. Just make sure you can focus intently on that mark. And once you can, just stop moving, relax. Let your eyes focus on that point, And just see what happens. All right, so what did happen? Did all the dots disappear? Well, of course they didn't. They may have seemed like they did, but they didn't. It's just that you are so focused on that one point that everything else around you vanishes. It goes away. And this is what you need to do when you shoot. You will hit the center of your target every single time if you do that. Your visual distractions will go away, and so will the bullet fairy. All right, so maybe there's a few of you still out there who may not be convinced that focusing on that mark really works. So let's go ahead and try one more time because this stuff works every single time. Take a look at this next picture and tell me, are the dots black or are they white? So I'll tell you, there's 35 dots. So which color are they? Go ahead and count them up. All right, look around, count by, by row or column, whatever makes sense for you. Just try and count them. And I'm guessing it's probably pretty hard for you to do. All right, so you know the drill. I'm going to have you focus on that mark on the front sight post, and hopefully you can guess what's going to happen when you focus on it. All right, just don't let your focus move. So here we go. All right, so you're focusing, really concentrate on that single little white line, that mark on the center of this front sight post. And I'll give you a couple seconds here. So hopefully by now you understand that truly focusing on your front sight post will change your shooting forever. You will literally never look at shooting the same way again as you consistently start putting every round exactly where you want. All right, so here's your homework. 
make a small mark on your front sight post and every time you shoot focus on that mark very intently until all the movement around you stops and you're in the zone and I'm sure you know what the zone is it's that that thing you get into where you're playing sports or playing an instrument and everything seems to slow down and everything just gets really easy for you and that's going to happen as you focus on that mark on your front sight post everything's going to slow down the movement's going to slow down and you're going to put your shots right where you want it and as you practice this you'll be able to instantly focus on that mark and not only shoot with extreme accuracy but also with lightning fast speed You'll also find that you can focus unconsciously on the mark while consciously tracking everything that's happening around you. So the target's moving, people are moving around you, the light's changing. You know, when you're shooting in a dynamic environment, everything's changing, but you can make this focus unconscious and you'll be able to shoot a lot more accurately and a lot faster. All right, now all you need to do is practice okay because failure to train is training to fail and you can do all this stuff dry firing all right and then when you get it all down you go to the range and try it out so if you've liked this lesson and you want to focus on learning even more sign up for my free firearms and tactical training newsletter at centermassgroup.com all right and there's a little link for you that you can uh, go to cmg-learn that's a bitly link for you all right so if you have any questions you can always post them to my facebook page and that's at center mass group on facebook and i just want to thank you for watching hopefully this video helps you out and just remember to never stop training